What happened, Pancha? A block appeared. What? That's cool. Alright. Oh! That sucks. Wow. Alright, vanilla extract time. Here we go, guys. Mm. Ah, that's delicious, guys. Alright, somebody confirmed that I was, in fact, just chugging vanilla extract. Addison, how about you lean in here and give these guys confirmation? <coughs> Addison says he can't tell if I was swallowing or not, therefore he won't confirm. And that just sounds disturbing. No further comment. Alright, so we're back in the room with the blocks in the middle. Alright, guys, Poncho's ready to uh, give it up right now, so we'll meet you when we find the key. See you there. Alright, so, guys, we're back. We're gonna see if, uh, Poncho can work something out here. He's playing the Song of Storms, by the way. So... Now it's raining. Inside a cave! How does that happen? Now he's playing the Song of Storms again, because he doesn't just want rain, he wants a fucking monsoon! Shouldn't have said that. Hey, we found a fairy! What the heck? How did that happen? And what has that got to do with current circumstances? Alright guys, so if you stand in that room and play Song of Storms, a fairy pops out and heals you. Because that's totally useful when you're looking for a key. Ah, alright. I'm really not an angry guy, I'm pretty laid back. What'd you say, Pancho? I'm just gonna talk, and you can pick and choose what you want, you know? Because, I mean, if you decide you just want to meet him when you find the key, then I mean, you just cut out all this that I talked through here. You get what I'm saying? Actually, I'll probably go quiet right now. Just talk randomly. Maybe I'll say something funny, and you can jam it in at the end, right? I like that. Alright, guys. <clears throat> And we're back, and it appears that Poncho has found the key we're looking for. So it's in the room with all the crazy chests, and uh, apparently we just missed it in a corner. Oh, I'm sorry. Had to use the lens of truth to find it, or to rather to locate it for the first time. So yeah, stand in the room with all the chests, use the lens of truth, grab that key. Ah, good to be back, guys. Okay, so now we're running back to our, uh, to the, ah... Uh, place where we originally intended to go. <clears throat> ba -da -ba -ba. Little elevator music while you wait. Ba -da -ba -ba. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> Sorry guys, Addison's saying mean things to me. You should all um leave negative messages. Sorry, you don't know Addison. Never mind. You don't know Addison. Scratch that. But still, Addison's a dick. Just, you know, shout at him on YouTube if you love me. If you don't love me, that's cool too, because I still love you. I'm a loving guy. Wait, what'd you say, Poncho? Did you just say I'm gay? What? Oh. Alright, Poncho has a bet with me now. He thinks that you guys think I'm gay. So. <laughs> oh, wow. There's another bet going, too. We're not going to talk about that here. But, uh, so, Pancho says he thinks that you guys think I'm gay. Wouldn't necessarily appreciate that, but it's not going to bother me. So, how about you guys, you know, leave a count on this video, comment whether or not you think Eric is gay. That works. So just, hey, you got the ice arrow. <laughs> Set it to see and your arrows will be powered up. If you hit your target, it will freeze. This arrow magic is granted only to those who, who complete the difficult training of the Gerados, so use it with pride. <laughs> oh, baby, I use it with pride every night. Alright. But, uh... But, yeah, so now we have to go through all these doors. This is nice. But, yeah, so Addison says he's going to go on and create lots of uh, YouTube accounts just so he can post that he thinks I'm gay. You know, like I say, that's cool, that's Addison. He's a dick-ass, doesn't matter. But seriously, guys, you know, I'm interested I'm interested to see your opinion. Get on, post what you think. It won't hurt me either way. Uh, I'll go ahead and say, though, 
I'm 102% heterosexual. I mean, if you think otherwise, eh, fine by me. But hey, that's my opinion. Could be closeted, but I, you know, I don't, I don't think I am. <laughs> I, I, I feel like I would know if I was. So you know, yeah. Uh, what? Why would I stop talking? I'm enjoying myself. I'm enjoying talking to people that I haven't seen and won't see and probably won't hear from. But yeah, guys, seriously, comment, you know, do you, do you think I'm doing an alright job doing some guest commentating? Do you think I'm gay? Do you think Addison is a dick for saying terrible things to me? I mean, you know, be interactive here. We certainly appreciate it. Can't stress enough how much we appreciate the viewers. We do this for you. Alright, so we're back on our horse. Got some carrots. Give the horse a carrot, man. Be kind to it. I like animals. There we go. Give him a carrot. Aww. Epona. Who's Epona? Remind me who Epona is. That's the chick, right? Or the ho Okay. Yeah. Right. Epona is the horse we're riding on. Okay. There we go. I was thinking Epona was like the chick who gave you the song for some reason. But yeah, that's... That's another chick. So yeah, Epona is your horse. My bad, guys. I apologize. you have any idea how long it's been since I played uh, Legend of Zelda? A long, long time. Like when I was ten years old, probably. So it brings back memories, but at the same time, I can't be expected to remember everything. Whew. Yeah, guys, we thought we were going to go and work out today. Apparently that's not happening, though, so... <laughs> ah. Yeah, Poncho needed to get this Let's Play done, so we, we took one for the team. Well, you're part of the team, and so we took one for you, because we're the team, and you're part of the team, and, you know, and we're lazy, and we're lazy. Phoenix notes that we're lazy. Yeah, we did make a reservation for our racquetball court, so that pretty much killed it, you know? Yeah, that's right, guys, we all play racquetball. It's because we're hardcore. But, uh, Pancho, do these guys know where you are? Have you ever said where you are? Okay, alright, I was just seeing what I could or could not say. I realize, you know, you've got a pretty big thing against being stalked. I wouldn't want to ruin that. Alright, guys. Uh, Pancho says we're going to Ganon's castle, so here we go. First time ever. Check this out. Big pit of lava. Birds in this massive castle of darkness. Don't you love the polygons? I love the polygons. <laughs> castle looks so much smaller than I remember it being. <laughs> ah, it's bigger on the inside, I swear. <laughs> ah, sorry, guys. Long story. Alright, so we're going to get our last gold school filler, which, uh, Poncho, should I tell them what that's supposed to do for us, or would you just like to wait? Alright, we'll find out what exactly that's going to do for us when we get there. Alright, here we go. Bum -ba -da -da -da. We now have 100, count them ladies and gents, 100 gold skull pillars. Every one of them in the game. This is indeed a glorious day. Alright, Poncho, what are we doing? Alright, we're playing some music here. Alright, we play the Nocturne of Shadow. Warp to the graveyard. What? Uh, Poncho says it's nice to be able to take a drink while he's LPing. Because, you know, generally he can't drink while he's LPing. And not liquor, but, you know, like, geek, geek stuff. Tad. Because that's what Poncho does. I'm the vanilla extract man, but only when I can't get better stuff. Ah, uh, I'll sip a tab from time to time, though. All right, so we're going to uh, Kakariko Village to see what this old guy will give us in exchange for all these scotillas we've managed to acquire. And Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> and Poncho says that he thinks we have to be kids for this to work, but <laughs> but apparently not, because the guy's still here. So let's see what he does, huh? Since you've destroyed 100 spiders of the curse, the curse on me has been broken. 
Thank you. Here is a token of my appreciation. Please take it. What? Y'all ready for this? Da -da 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 You got a huge rupee. This rupee is worth a whopping two hundred rupees. Which does us no good. Wow. That's kind of a downer. That. That's a pretty big downer, actually. Huh. Okay, guys. Um, Poncho says it's not a total loss because you can go back as many times as you want and get 200 rupees. So it's basically we now have uh, infinite monies. How cool is that, huh? All right. Sweet. So back at the Temple of Time, we have infinite money, or the closest thing to it. Life's good.